Today's tutorial is on how to make this beautiful gathered skirt. So the measurement we need here is the total length of the skirt. We also need the waist measurement, the hip measurement and the waist to the knee measurement. So starting from here, as we can see, this is a two tier skirt. So the total length of the skirt is 32 inches. So from the waist to the knee length is 18 inches. 18 inches. So before we can get the total length of this, we need to subtract the total length from this 18 inches. So 32 minus 18 inches. That will give us 40 inches, which means the total length of the second tier will be 40 inches. This will be 18 inches. Why this will be 40 inches? So before cutting it out, as we can see, this place has a joining, which means we need half inch at this side and we need half inch at the upper side too so apart from this going to the waist line we need the waist band because we will add waist band to the upper part so for my waist band i need three inches so when we add three these three inches plus this 0 0.5 inch seam allowance here that will be 3.5 inches so we will add it to the total length measurement, which is 18. That means 18 plus 3.5. That will give us 21.5 inches. Which means, so the total length here, I need 21 inches. I will, I will cut out 21.5 inches as the total length of this from year to year. That will be 21.5 so as for the lower parts apart from this 0 0.5 inch seam allowance i also need seam allowance for the downside this totally depends on how you want to fold the the lower parts for me i need one one inch for this so the one inch seam allowance plus this 0 0.5 inch seam allowance we will need here will give us 1.5 so we will add it to this 40 inches and that will be 15 inches in total. So this will be 15 inches from year to year will be 15.5 inches. So we need 15.5 inches length here and we need 21.5 uh, inches length here. That is it for the length. So as for the width, if you like, you can multiply the waist measurements by two or by three inches it totally depends on you but for me i want to use the hip measurement which is 28 inches the hip measurement is 28 inches so i will multiply this 28 inches by two so it will give me 56 that means i need total width of 56 inches here so 25 inches length and for the width is 56 inches that's 21.5 inches by 56 inches this 56 inches is the width measurement why this is the length total length from year to year and this from year to year is 56 inches from year to year is also 56 inches I will cut it straight. So as for the down part, the total width I need for the down part is this measurement, the 56 inches we got here, I want to multiply it by 2 inches. That is 56 inches times 2. The 66 inches times 2 will give me 112, 112 inches. So that means I need total width of this total width of this i mean i need 50 uh, 112 inches as the total width of this the downside that is 112 inches so so it will be 
15 inch 15.5 inches by 112 inches the length will be 15.5 while the total width will be 112 inches i hope we understand so that's the calculation so i will cut out 21 inches by 56 inches here and i will cut out 15.5 inches by this 112 inches 21 inches by 56 So this is the 21 inches by 56 inches, 15.5 inches by 112 inches. This is for the lower part. So 15.5 inches by, I fold it into two. So. I fold it into two. That means it's 120. After, after all the calculations, I added 8 inches. So 60 plus 60 is 120. That means I added 8 inches to, to the total width. I added 8 inches plus 8 inches, which is 120. Because I don't want to cut the remaining fabric. That's the total width of the fabric I have. So it means... 112 inches plus 8 inches so making 120 we, we will have to make gathers at the upper part of the second tiers because it is wider than this we make a gathers until it becomes the same 56 inches of, of these upper tiers then make the gathers You can as well use the gather foot instead of using your hand to make the gathers. So after that, this is the upper one. Why this is the second, the down part. So make sure they are equal. Then you sew it. Make sure you pin it down so that it will be equal. Then after that, we will now sew it. We will join both together. Then we will now remove the thread of the gathers. We remove it. Then after joining both together. Then we will now join this together, both edges. So we will now fold the 3 inches at the upper part, the waistband, we will fold 3 inches. So after ironing, so I will mark one and a half inches all through. From up here, I will mark one and a half inches all through.
So we will sew everything without adding the elastic. Because this is where, after sewing this, this is where we will add the elastic. The small elastic I want to add. It is in between this and here. But here you will just sew it, sew it round where I marked the chalk. We sew everything. Then I cut out 19 inches elastic. I did not take 3 inches from the normal waist circumference. So you can deduct 2 to 4 inches. It also depends on the elasticity of the elastic you are using. So for me, I did not take just 3 inches. Then I will still sew it. So when sewing the elastic, You put it this way. One should be longer than the other one. So then you sew here. Then after sewing the elastic, you put it inside like this. Then we will sew it. I will advise you to sew it first before adding the elastic because the waist is very wide. So when you sew it first, then add your elastic instead of doing it this way. Then after that, you end the down or fold it like this. Anyhow you want it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share comment and subscribe to my channel